Yo, what's going on, 60 Cent Winter Squad? Now is Apollo time. A to Z series, as always, you know, obviously. We got a lot of gods to go through. A whole lot of gods to go through, actually. We're playing Apollo now. So, let's see what happens. Um, of course I'm gonna abu abuse Death's Embrace, just like he did last game. And I assume he will also abuse this game. I'm probably gonna go Ichabal Berserker Shield. Or Ichabal Boots Berserker Shield. Not Midgard. Maybe I will go Midgard. I like Maybe I will go Midgard. I don't know. What, what will I do? Will I go Midgard? Uh, he outclears me. No question about that. He does outtrade me. Unless I max my two. Or, like, once I max my two, then I'll be able to probably do something good about it. I don't know. We'll see. Honestly, I could go Death's Temper instead of Death's Embrace. And Silver Branch. And that would not be terrible. But Death's Embrace is so OP. Like, I, I, you definitely just go Death's Embrace. Alright, he still has not finished his first buff. Okay. He went for the steal and I kind of really punished him for it. Okay, I'm not hitting my autos today. Okay, never mind. I don't know what that was, but it was definitely not smite. <laughs> but whatever, we take those, we take those. We heal back to full HP and full mana off the tower. Okay, he's going for his speed buff. I'm really just gonna push tower, I think. I'm not scared of him. We are feeling pretty great here. Really nice damage. The ults. Fine by me. I think we just do this buff now. And then we go get our boots. And we are very far ahead already. And it is looking very good. In fact, I'd say it's looking exceptionally good. Use my ult just to make sure I'm there in time, you know? I don't really care about hitting him. I care about hitting the wave. own pillar against him right there. Okay. Good kill, dude. Let's go. Good kill. Let's go. Max the two because it gives me protection and I need the extra protection. That was really bad. There's a lot of times I probably should have just died during that fight, and I'm very lucky that I didn't. Because I played that very poorly. This is kind of looking like a surrender, though. I doubt that he's going to want to play the game out. 
Especially because after last game, after last game, he said, um, LOL Latin power. So I feel like his, his sense of, uh, nationality has determined that he must beat me at all times now. And unfortunately, if he's not beating me, I think that he's going to take that pretty hard, pretty rough. I was Aphrodite versus Heimdall. And he got a Death's Embrace, so you know I wouldn't consider it, nor, you know, necessarily a fair fight. I would consider this a fair fight. You know, we can both abuse Death's Toll here, but I don't know. You know, maybe he doesn't see it like that. Maybe if he doesn't have the advantage, it's not a fair fight. Which is how a lot of people see things. Really. Hello. Um, I guess we just go red buff. I also do want to go Berserker Shield, like I said. But maybe I just go Midgard. Because it's safer. Hmm. What's the god after this? Artio? Oh no, Arachne. Or Ares? No, it's Arachne and then Ares. Ooh. Okay. Arachne and then Ares, huh? That's a, that's a spicy duo right there. Took him way too long to clear that wave, so I get this for free. And... Really, I, you know what? I will just go mid guard just because I know that it's strong. And we'll grab a mana pod because I'm diving in like a maniac. Oh, so close! So close. But that's okay. Luckily, I don't really need any kind of assistance clearing this. And that is the surrender exactly like I expected. Um, well, I guess we could just double feature it. You guys want to double feature it? I'll see you in the next game then. Yo, what's up, boys? Game number two. The Apollo. The Apollo versus the Oleron. Uh, can Oleron buy Death's Toll? Can Oleron buy Death's Toll? I guess they can't. I think he can. I think mage ADCs can. No, yeah, mages can because I bought it on Cerberus. <laughs> of course, this is stupid. I don't even know why I was like caught to play it wouldn't work because of course it works. Why wouldn't it work? Um, Aegis is really good against Oleron. Okay. I talked myself into it. I think Aegis is really good against Oleron. Because when Oleron ults, and you Aegis and stand inside his ult, the Aegis lasts 40% longer. Which means, like, pretty much the duration of his ult is just Aegis. Alright, we pick this up. He is still clearing his first buff. I go over here. He just finished his first buff, which I assume is the blue. Very surprised he's not trying to steal my blue buff like he did last game, because it's the same player. He's just pushing. Not bad. Um, he was killing those. I guess he went back to do his speed buff. 
All right. Well, I am level 5, and he is level 4 still, so... I'd say we're in a pretty good spot. He just hit level 5. Okay, he's doing those. This clear is very good. Okay. We are definitely out trading. I guess he does have a heal, huh? But he has no attack speed boots or anything. You know, like he can't get attack speed boots to outscale me early game. Definitely doesn't win this one. Unless I miss all my auto attacks, in which case. Okay. Now I back, I get boots, and I alt in. And even though he's backing, I don't really care because I want the wave, and I also. Get red buff with this so good good stuff not to mention i'm pretty sure his cooldown has a longer or his alt cooldown is longer than my alt cooldown You do not scare me. All right, cool. I don't know. I don't know why he thought he would win that fight. Because I'm the one that gets extra attack speed, that can abuse Death Toll more, and all you do is get extra life steal. So I think. That was probably not the best play. If he had his ult, that's a different story. Because if he had his ult, that would not be a bad play at all. But without ult, it, it definitely seems a bit rough. We grab these now. Backs. I'm okay with him hitting me and stuff because I am just farming right now and at the end of the day I have much more attack speed slows than he does which means I win the trades later in the game so I'm totally fine with just just vibing with him right now for Ichival. and yes Ichival does lower um, a physical power or like basic attack physical power but I get it because it slows the attack speed not because it lowers his power He takes so much damage that it's kind of ridiculous. Wow. Uh, Alright. Well, we got his shell and his ult for free. Because I didn't have to use anything for that.
my next item is probably going to be Shogun's. There's more attack speed. He's doing his blue. Gives me enough time to probably take tower. Alright, tower down. Tower down, he is trying to heal, but it also has no effect on me. He's very low HP. Damn, I think he got his back off in time. I could go Runic Shield as well, which would be pretty good at stopping whatever kind of damage he does, but the scaling on Runic Shield is not quite good. But I more than likely should not have taken four Phoenix shots there. You love to see it. I mean, he had to have heard me charging it, right? He had to have heard me charging it. Or we get a full Shogun, and because we are the ones with magic defense, Thorns is good for us. And we keep it going. Shoguns gives us even more attack speed. I kind of want to try the Silver Branch uh, build. Instead of the attack speed reduction build. Like go oboe and silver branch and shit. And death temper. But if I go death temper and he goes death embrace, I just lose. But I do want to try it at some point. Hmm. Okay, he definitely backs here. I do not believe I get Phoenix, because I really don't do that much damage. But I can do some good damage to it. Take half of it. Yeah, we take a little over half. That'll do. Yeah, my Mez plus my Thorn, or my Mez plus my Aegis literally stopped everything. It literally stopped any kind of push he had during his ult. You think I won't, huh? Oh, this is up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. Do I really want to go, Oboe? Do I really want to go the Atalanta's build? I mean, the answer is yes, but, like, it's not as strong anymore, but I still really want to do it. I'm gonna do it. Whatever. If it's bad, it's bad, but it's fun. So that's what I want to do.
I mean, I'm definitely out trading. Oh no! The uh... The um... Whatever the th the 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 knock up button, whatever the knock up button is, his three stopped me. Stopped me in my darn tracks. But he's definitely gonna back here because I have alt. He's not backing, which means I am alting. That is unlucky. Your middle tower is under attack. All right, we use our two for our max physical protection, and we take this. Thank you, Death Toll. Your team has destroyed a middle. And now we back again. Perfect. Could not have gone better. Let me go silver branch for our power. Because we have 70 of it right now. <laughs> we go silver branch. And then we have damage, baby. And I'm all about it. really mind any of this to be honest with you oh this is actually up now that is unexpected and we have our damage item baby let's go Immediately shoots us to 116 power. Immediately a 46 power item. No, no, I was jumping. I, I literally jumped during his alt. I jumped during his alt and because I jumped, I couldn't Aegis. Because I could, because I pressed my space bar, I couldn't Aegis and I just got the shit kicked out of me. <laughs> That's actually really funny. That's actually really funny. Holy shit. Okay. Can't make mistakes like that again, though. And not make mistakes like that again. Also, Thorns did literally 29 damage. I am very, very surprised that he let that happen. Because he definitely did not need to.
Okay, well... Honestly, getting alt there and getting Phoenix... And hitting level 20 for Death's Embrace... I think now, now that I just got Death's Embrace... I think we just alt in... And we win. Because I don't think he can stop me. Death's Embrace to heal off Titan. Sorry, we'll, he we'll heal off minions first. We'll heal off minions. Alright, GG, dude. GG. A better second game than first game. But still, you know, not bad. Not bad. I wouldn't say they were good, though. You know what I mean? So who knows? I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully tomorrow's videos are better. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.